The historic Morris Brown College is back. The legendary HBCU recently celebrated its homecoming with new students and alumni coming together to celebrate this new era of the school. Now, Morris Brown is sat as a shell of itself for two decades after losing its accreditation back in 2002. Well, 11 Alive went one on one with the school's new president, that's Dr. Kevin James, about the school's comeback and what the future holds for this institution. You came yes. in in 2020, two years later. Yes. You all received accreditation. Yes. How'd you do it? Well, the first thing that I had to do was I had to get people to believe. It's been 20 years. No school's ever done that. They filed $35 million bankruptcy. They lost their land. They lost everything. Why are you wasting your time? So my biggest challenge in the beginning was just getting people to believe that this was possible. How did I do that? Social media. And you can hear so much more from Dr. James and a Morris Brown student who says this school is continuing a family, family legacy. You can find their story right now on 11alive.com. And I gotta say, uh, a big shout out to Mike Nichols. This was his vision. He's a photojournalist mm -hmm. here. He really crafted and helped to edit that story and make it what it is. He's also at HBCU alum. Yeah, and I saw the Morris Brown share your story on their platforms yeah. as well. There's a lot of pride in that institution. Growing up here in Atlanta, a lot of people were really proud to say they went to Morris Brown and hopefully they'll continue to be able to do that as and well. And I will say, I did go and rent Drumline to watch it again oh, yeah. 20 years later. Yeah. It came out in 2002. I think that's the last time I saw the it. Morris so. Brown <laughs> of course was featured in drumline. We